The polecat's technique with its mate consists on a relentless harassment, biting and dragging her around. The possessive male will not allow its conquest to escape from the nuptial kidnapping. The suffocating, pushing and shoving staged by the male magpies is one of the loudest and most hectic copulations of the oak grove. The wolves follow a strict guideline. Only the alpha pair, the dominant individuals of each sex, will reproduce. The blue damselfly has been doing the same thing for millions of years. The female will arch its back to couple with the male, while he will hold her head. The dragonflies jump staggering over the surface to hunt mosquitoes. It does not seem possible that they can get to speeds of 85 kilometers per hour. During incubation, the female great-crested greed will not be safe from the overwhelming abuse of the male. The white stalks copulation is based on juggling, balancing acts made more pleasant by the clappering of their bills. And in the quiet of the night, the common tree frogs seek protection to perform the so-called auxiliary amplexus. The embrace of the natterjack toads lasts a few hours, and after the hug the female lays a string of 10,000 eggs that will have to develop quickly because of the arrival of the yearly droughts. An unavoidable ordeal that will also affect the quiet midwife toad. With the new births, the magical circle of life will close down and be completed. They are, without a doubt, the peak of the process of the biological renewal. Before the weaning, the wild sow takes her piglets for a walk. It is the time for learning. A delicate time for the swine that try to imitate their mothers jumping around horrifying crags. The family means of support is a job that will fall onto the female Bonelli's eagle, an effort that works well for the raptors. Every year, between one and three peregrine falcons per nest will survive what ensures the continuity of a bird present in almost all continents. The black vultures are very maternal, protecting the future emperor of the air from the sun with her enormous wings. This is one of the 60 female black storks of Montfrague, that sometimes also receives a visit from the grey heron before it leaves for its nest. There, four slender chicks will wait for their mother. A lot more cautious than these other hungry, wretched creatures that anxiously introduce their bills to the entrails of their mother. Maternity is very hard for the cattle egret. At least it will not have to withstand the grotesque look of the offspring of the black-crowned heron, a bird that seems to be disturbed by the bird sanctuaries where thousands of herons share each millimeter of the trees.
the black winged stilt has arrived to the finish line. And with it, all the other animals that during a long year have had just two goals. To survive and to sow the land, sky and waters with new generations. The black coot and the mouse show off their plentiful descendants. And this is, in short, the fundamental secret that drives and always keeps active the heart-pounding game of life.